So, this is V Look Up. And you see these names and bikes? We want them to appear like there, there's like gonna be a drop down and then put, there's gonna be a bike right there, whatever name I put. So you see those, you get a this and then, where are you? There. Then you, no at any value, you want list. And then we do, we can do this for faster if you know this oh right <laughs> you do that and then then we get that and then you do okay and then you see there's a drop down and then after the drop down you can do Isaac Brandon or Larissa pop up name Brandon Larissa okay Okay, so then you get, you do this. You go equals V. And if you look closely, you'll see the V lookup. And then, wait, no, no, no. Hmm, what was that? Uh, oh, right. So we do, we do that. And then, what is that? Is that how? What does the V like lookup? These, what does the V lookup do with that? It turns it into like this blue D two, and then it's like blue surrounding. So that's why it's blue. And then you do, and then you do those with that, and then. And then, what was it? And then you press two, because the bike is in two. And then you press enter, and then it does that. And then you can do that, and then you can do that, and then you can do that. Okay, well, now I'm gonna amazing. throw it over to Mr. Excel. Snapshot. All right, Isaac, that was a great uh, trick. Do you want to be look up at what? Age six? Age six. That's amazing. All right, so how am I going to improve on that? That's incredible. Uh, I'm going to do Alt DL to create the data validation, allow a list. And the source will be uh, just like Isaac did there, A2 to A4. But I'm going to add an input message that says, hey, select from the list. Please choose from the list. All right. So, hey, so see that? Now when I select that cell, it tells them what to do, just in case they don't know anything about computers and they don't have any clue what to do. So now they can choose from the list. All right, then equal V lookup. So we're going to talk about different ways to enter formulas. Isaac used the mouse a lot, but I'm going to use the arrow key. So I'm going to press the left arrow key, see which moves the blue dancing marching ants around D2. I'll press comma and then over here. F4, even though we're not going to copy them someday, we might, comma 2. And then at the end of every single VLOOKUP, you should always put false. Now, hey, we lucked out because this happened to be sorted. And so the true was able to work. But most of the time, we want to put false. Just as you go through life, Isaac, say, if I'm doing a VLOOKUP, I want to end it in false, false or zero. There we go. And let's do a little test here. Uh, we'll choose Brayden and then Larissa. It's Brandon. Is it Brandon? Then yeah. it's spelled wrong. Um, and see, this will work even if the lookup list is sorted descending. It'll still continue to work with the comma false there. All what right. happens if you change the the dad who misspelled Brandon? It should be an N. What happens if you change the N? Well, then we're going to get an NA error right here. So um, if we would choose that we had had Brayden there. Well, let's break it. Let's break it. This well, is. There is a kid that I know no, um, named Brayden. Oh, oh, the horrible N.A. error. That's like the worst evil monster when you're doing VLOOKUPs, getting N.A. errors. All right. Excel is fun. Woohoo! Oh, an N.A. 
Well, you know, if we were back in 2003, what would we have to do? We'd have to put the V lookup two times. But I think we can just um, use this great new function, if error. And then if it sees an error, it's just sitting in that value argument there. It's either doing the V lookup or giving you an error comma, and then value of error. Hey, I'm going to put something like uh, double quote, null text string to show nothing. Or you could type, let's just see what that looks like. Or you could type a polite message, something like try again. Try again. So now let's try again. We'll uh, select, uh, ooh, it broke the data validation. It actually pasted this on top, so you'd have to redo it. Hey, let's go over here. Let's look at a trick, Alt-D-L. And I'm going to go ahead and select the list, just like Isaac did right here. Click OK. So now I have my drop down, right? And then you can do your V lookup, arrow key, comma, and I'm going to keep it sorted, right? I'm going to just put a 2 here for the second column. But watch this. What if we wanted to add some names here? Notice that the, the data validation is uh, it's got three names. If we convert this to a table, Control-T, click OK. Now this is a table, so if I come to the end and tab, I can type Timmy. And Timmy doesn't have a bike, no bike. Is that right, Isaac? Yeah. And I'm going to put a, a not happy Smith face because we need to get him a, a bike. Now, the thing is, we did data validation before we converted it to a table. So is it going to be there if I click this? And there nice. it is. Look at there's Timmy with, oh, he doesn't have a bike. So even the table features got those dynamic ranges. But even if you have a range that's not what's there before you convert it to a table, it will still work. All right, I'm going to throw it back over to Isaac. You got to say, uh, see you next time. Close see it up. <laughs> you got to say bye to everyone. Bye. How about uh, next time? Are we going to do another tool sometime? Yes, sure. Well, I can even figure out how to stand on the computer. All right, say bye. 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 See ya.